Asia. In today's challenge we need to replace a series of old characters with the new ones in all product IDs as specified in the Void's replacement list. Let's dive in. First things first, we need to get our data into Power Query. Let's start by importing the product IDs table. Now we need a list of old and new characters. Here is a quick tip, instead of loading it from scratch, just create a new step in the Power Query editor, then copy the code from the formula bar and change the table name to table2. This way we can quickly switch to working with our replacement list. Next, we'll use the function table2 records. What does this do? It converts each row in table2 into a record. Think of each record as a mini data package containing all the values in that row, like old and new text replacements, ready to be used in transformations. But why records? Because they allow us to treat each row as a single item we can work with during our text replacement process. We can't directly use a table here, because we need to reference the columns like old and new in our upcoming operations. Let's return to our product IDs table. We can do this by creating a new step and typing source in the formula bar. This brings our main table back and now we are ready to modify it. To do this, we'll use the function table transform columns. It's a pretty straightforward function that lets us change specific columns in a table. The first argument is the table we are working on, in this case our source table. The second argument is the column we want to transform and here it's the product IDs column. Now you might notice nothing has changed yet. That's because we haven't told Power Query what to do with the data. The real transformation starts now. We are going to use list accumulate, a powerful function that lets us apply multiple changes step by step. But first, what does it actually do? Think of it like this. List accumulate goes through a list, in our case the replacement rules, and applies each rule one by one to the product IDs. It's like adding layers of edits to each product ID. The first argument, the list, is our replacement list, which we've already converted to records. The second argument is called the seed. In our case, the seed is represented by the underscore symbol. What does the seed represent? It's basically the current value of the product ID that's been processed. Every time the function applies a rule, it starts with the current value of the product ID. The third and the final argument is the accumulator. Think of it as the function that carries out our transformation. For each item in the replacement list, the accumulator will take the current product ID, that's the seed, and apply a transformation to it. The xy part of the code is a lambda function, also known as an anonymous function. In Power Query this is commonly used to define transformation and calculations in a concise way. X represents the current value being processed, in our case it's each individual product ID. Y represents each record from the replacement list. So how do we actually make the replacement happen? Simple, we use text to replace. Here is how it works. Take the current product ID, X. Find any part of it that matches the old value, Y, old, and replace it with the new value, Y, new. What we've done here is transform the product ID's column in table 1 by applying multiple text replacements using the void's replacement list from table 2. The whole process works smoothly thanks to list accumulate and text replace, making it easy to update the product codes in bulk. This technique may seem rather complex, but it is very helpful. See you in the next video.